all right so ever since chat gpt has happened like you know microsoft has getting advantage on uh, over that uh, google and it's uh, uh, you know because of the chat gpt capabilities bing has taken an edge over uh, google search engine and that's why uh, you know the heat between these two companies are you know uh, pretty intense at this stage like what is happening in the realm of you know artificial intelligence the two tech giants microsoft and google have made significant uh, strides in with their respective ai chatbots chat gpt and bard and microsoft chat gpt is a state of the art language model which actually uses machine le uh, learning to generate human like uh, text experience it, and it's designed to assist in a variety of tasks which we all already seen and uh, discussed in the previous segment itself from drafting emails to writing code and uh, don't worry about these things we are going to see these things in action in coming uh, videos itself on the other hand google uh, bard is just a conversational, uh, conversational ai that leverages uh, google's vast knowledge graph to provide detailed and accurate responses so the competition between two uh, microsoft and google in the ai space is basically a testament uh, to their commitment to inno innovation itself right and microsoft uh, with its extensive software ecosystem and cloud services has been able to integrate ai into many of its products so if you see these days what is happening microsoft has been integrating chat gpt uh, with uh, its cloud services which is azure and uh, with uh, let's say other products like say, even the office is going to have this chat gpt baked in which in which case like you see this uh, complete office 365 is going to be you know limitless uh, with that particular power itself enhancing so this way they are enhancing user experience and productivity google on the other hand known for its search engine and data centric services has utilized ai to revolutionize search and digital advertising and more right so both companies you know continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with ai contributing to advancement in natural language processing and uh, machine learning and more and both are working in a, a different set of architecture technologies all together but their uh, motto is same right so as chat gpt and bart continue to evolve they not only uh, represent the progress of their respective companies but also the exciting potential of ai as a whole and in which case you guys and us will be getting benefited out of that Although this uh, focus of this particular course is entirely into chat GPT and other AI tools, but uh, most uh, dominant session it will be on the chat GPT and we'll be exploring other AI tools in comparison with chat GPT features itself, right? So that's the whole intention of this particular course. And as I say, like uh, I have just listed down a few of the points uh, uh, at the high level uh, when it comes to the comparison segment wherein chat gpt versus bard can be compared right so if you see that chat gpt and bard are both ai chatbots of course and these are more geared towards productivity bard is basically is a mix of search engine and virtual assistant and uh, you know on the other hand chat gpt is more towards the productivity itself bard draws real time information from the uh, internet uh, for its responses and as you know chat gpt is trained with finite set of data that has been updated that hasn't been updated since 2021 uh, and that is october 2021 to be more precise so it actually uh, depends like uh, when this new data set is getting you know transformed and uh, when this new data set is uh, going to be updated right so this is where chat gpt signs because it works pretty concisely right and bard gives more detailed answers in general because it's crawling the web right so and chat gpt gives concise answers to factual question and it's capable of more complex ethical reasoning and solving problems as well right and it's uh, let's say if you are from software background it's debugging experience is intense like you give it any problem a statement where you got stuck it can help you with that like uh, you know very ease chat gpt is better equipped with generating ideas and contents where bard is more helpful if you have any specific question so both chatbots are easy to access and use uh, and are equally fast and responding to queries right so you will need to create a google account to use bard uh, basically with the chat gpt you can use any email address to sign up and get started immediately if you're looking to supplement your you know business profession uh, professional needs or studies with great content then chat gpt is the way to go of course and if you're looking for a better uh, 
way to support your search habits you will have a better time with uh, you know google bard because it's basically crawling the content or uh, crawling the content on the web itself in the real time and it's getting you that uh, you know that real time info with uh, uh, bard in uh, in the background right so that's what and that's how it's actually uh, both are working and both are uh, parallelly trying to compete against each other